Hey Rifters, John here. Today we're going to be checking out VR Launchpad. Now this isn't a game, it's an application that allows you to play Unity games, which is really cool because it works in VR. You don't have to take your VR headset off to, to play each game, which is really great and it keeps you immersed within the Rift and you don't have to have the hassle of pulling your Rift off and changing games every time you want to check out something different. It also works really well for showing people the Rift so that they don't have to pull the rift off every time and, and hassle with that. Now this is an executable file which installs very good and very easily. This is a beta so things are subject to change and there is a few bugs. I haven't run into many which is great. As you can see here it starts when you when you open it up it's it starts out here usually this is blank all you have to do is simply drag the executable file into this area here and your, and your game will be loaded up or you can drag your shortcuts which before I was using a folder on my taskbar here to play different games these are games that I frequently play or frequently show other people which made it a little bit easier and to show people and not have to break the immersion but with this app I was able to draw, drag all these shortcuts into here and have them all in one unified spot. Now you can just launch single apps from here, which is cool, but that's not really what the main purpose of this program is about. We'll get to that in just a second. Now it has global Unity settings, which is really cool, simply because you can set the resolution for all the games you play to a certain resolution so you don't have to fiddle with it before you start each game. You can set your graphics to everything and your other settings, your escape key, your escape button for the controller and different things here. Now you can set individual settings for certain games because I know certain games are a little bit more graphic intense and you might want to lower your graphics quality or it might not support a certain resolution, you might want to change that or even change your exit key or, or whatever you like. There's also another way to add apps, all you have to do is click this add app button and search for your, search for your game and press open which is very cool but I actually prefer the drag and drop method it works really simply now as you can see I've added added quite a few games here to it already now if you add too many games I'll show you in a second it does get a little clustered within the application but anyway without talking you guys to death here let's go ahead and get started as I said before all you have to do is click the launch button Alright, as you can see, it launches this 3D environment here with all the different games that you've added with their icons. Now some games don't currently have icons because the developer hasn't added one, but you can see the names below. Now you can use your keyboard or controller to select the different games, which is really nice. And they are wrapped around you in 3D space, which is really cool. Now the background here isn't much to look at yet. I'm sure he plans on adding something else in the background, something more visually pleasing. But like I said, this is a beta, so it's not a problem. Let's go ahead and check out a game here. I'm going to go ahead and check out Dread Halls because this is one of, my, one of my favorite games to play. It's something that you can play repeatedly and it's still scary as hell. And it's really fun to put people in that haven't played the Rift and scare the shit out of them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now, as you can see, the game just loads right up, no problems. Without having the annoying configuration window pop up and have to change the settings because you did all that before within the VR launch pad program. I'm not going to play the game. Just showing you guys that it does work with no problems whatsoever. By the way, if you haven't checked out this game, I would really recommend it. As I said, it's one of my favorite games to play in the Rift. But anyway, let's go ahead and exit out and show that it does go right back without having to take off your headset. Alright, here we are right back into the app here. And you can select another game. 
Let's go ahead and just do one more to show you guys that this does work properly. Titans of Space is a really epic game that I actually never did a review on, not because I didn't like it, just because there were so many different reviews on it already. Because it was one of the earlier games. Now, if you haven't played this game or haven't seen anything about it, I really recommend getting this. It really shows a sense of scale in the ribs, which is one of the more amazing things about VR. How huge the sun is here. But this is not about this game, but I do recommend it. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the program. Alright guys, as you can see, it brings you right back into this 3D environment, which is really cool. Now, it may not seem like I'm going from game to the 3D environment seamlessly, but it is. I'm just, the way I'm having to record this, I'm having to record gameplay in this 3D environment separately. Simply because open broadcast software requires you to change what you're recording on screen. But if you're just playing games, it'll work perfectly. It's, it's not a problem. It's not something you'll have to worry about. It's something I actually forgot to mention. You can actually... Look down here at head selection. I'll just stare at it for a few seconds till it hits green. And now instead of using your keyboard or controller, you can actually look at each thing. And all you have to do is stare at it for a couple seconds and it will automatically launch the game. Which I don't want to launch another game just right now. But anyway guys, to, to go ahead and escape, you can hit your... It's your escape button or your PS3 button, I think. Just the escape button. Alright, luckily I use a Rift background image on my desktop so that if I do exit a game without taking off my Rift, I still see stuff in 3D and it doesn't mess with my eyes. Let's go ahead and take that off. Alright guys, as you can see, that was VR Launchpad. For those of you that are just getting your Rift, or even if you have your Rift already, this is a really great application. And I'm sure he's going to expand on it a lot in the future. So I recommend this to anybody that, that wants to stay immersed in the Rift and doesn't want the hassle of having to close the game out, and take off the Rift, and start a new game, and change the settings and all that, and have it all pretty much automated for you. And unlike uh, Virtuality.io, this one allows you to add any game that you've downloaded, not just games that he's approved and and have to re-download them through his program. Anyway, guys, as always, I'll leave links below to download this application. I really recommend it to anybody with a Rift or anybody that's going to be receiving a Rift. It really shows the potential for programs that can keep you immersed within the Rift without having to take them off. And hopefully one day... The Oculus Share will be this way, or maybe even the new Steam OS that's coming out in 2014 will have a program similar to this, or team up with this guy to use his program. But anyway, if you have any comments, questions, or requests, please post them below. If you like the video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.